Hey everybody, welcome to my Ace of Spades tutorial. This is how to get the game, how to install it, and how to run it. Now, if you haven't seen my Ace of Spades videos, my first and second look videos, you may want to go ahead and click on those if you're not sure what this game is all about. It's basically a first-person shooter that you play online um, in a sandbox sort of environment that's kind of similar to Minecraft. Um, but go ahead and watch those videos if you want to see it in action. So this video is about how to get it, how to download it, how to install, etc. So here we are at the website. And just head on over to ace-spades.com. And you should see this right here. And the current version is beta 0.26. Now it's very rough around the edges. So um, there are a few glitches. All right, so here we are at the download page. And you're going to click on that link here. And it wants to put it in your downloads folder. Just say OK or save. And it's not a very big file. It's only a few meg. Should not take very long. Now, there have been reports of some internet security programs choking on this file and flagging it as a virus. Now, I've got this installed on at least three different machines. And I've scanned it multiple times. I have not found a virus. I think what's happening is there's some behavior on this installation that may be suspicious and your internet security program probably doesn't like that, the way it's installed. But um, I haven't run into any viruses, so as far as I know, it's clean. You may have to shut your firewall off for your internet security program to get this thing installed. So anyway, now click on the installation uh, that you just downloaded and follow the instructions. Now, I've already got this installed, so I'm not going to go ahead and do this. Basically, just hit next, 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 and it will install on your computer. Now, here's the tricky part. Ace of Spades does not put an icon on your desktop. But if you go to your program files, if you're using Windows, well, you have to use Windows. It only runs on Windows. This is Windows 7. I'm going to click on the Start button. And I'm going to go to All Programs and find Ace of Spades folder. And you'll see right here um, this link that says Play. It's basically a... Uh, a, a web link, internet link, and all that does is bring you to the website. So once this thing is installed in your computer, you just go to the website and you look for a server and you just click on a server and then it will start up the game. Now before I do that, I'm going to show you the folder that this is installed in. So if you load up your Windows Explorer or if you just right click on your start button, open Windows Explorer, go to your program files uh, folder, you might be under the C drive, like under here, for instance. Now, I didn't put mine there. I put mine on a different drive. I like to keep things nice and tidy, you see. Uh, program files and a of spades. Now, this is the folder where the client and the server lives. You can create your own server. I'm not going to talk about that in this video. I might do another video on setting up your own server. But for now, um, these are where the files live. And this file right here, config.ini. You may not see the .ini if you don't have extensions shown, but... If you double click on that, you can come in here and change your user's name, your player name. And I'll just put in Paul. And you can also change your resolution, which um, I have not played with yet. I'm not sure if that actually works. I'm just going to change the name. Oh, oh, I didn't know you could change the volume. Huh, look at that. All right, I'm going to lower it because it's pretty loud. And people have mentioned that in the videos that I've done. So I didn't see that. Cool. All right, so now. If you get an error here, it says you can't save it, it's read-only, or you need administrator privileges, then you might have to do one more thing. And I'll show you what you have to do. If you do get that error by Windows, if it says, hey, you can't change this file, then what you want to do is right-click on Ace of Spades, click on Properties, go to the Security tab, and in here you want to click on Edit, and then choose Users, and then Allow, and hit Apply. And that gives users of this full control on that folder so that you can do modify and read write operations or write operations that's the problem is you can't write there that should work hopefully the developer is going to modify this and maybe put this config file somewhere else in like the documents folder so that you can get to it and make changes more easily or right through the interface so again it's a rough beta it's very early um, i have confidence that this developer I've been in touch with him and uh, he seems very dedicated to getting this thing up and running with more options and so forth so anyway all right so that done let's go back to the website and if you just click on 
just click on any one of these servers here oh actually you know before we do that let me show you the wiki there is a wiki and it's ace of spades wiki.com and there's not a lot of info here but just enough to get started and if you click on I believe it's this link the basics of AOS there's a graphic and it tells you how to play the game very basically the controls for movement some of the features in the game what to look for etc 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 so definitely worth going there if you're having any problems all right let's go back to the page here and you want to pick a server I'm gonna refresh this page I press F5 and it refreshes the server information so it shows here the number of players in the game your ping so you want to try to find something that's close to you low ping it might say like east and I'm gonna click on this one and you'll get this um, security page that pops up to say okay launch the app now if you get an error here that says can't connect to the server or something like that it's usually um, like that right there server timeout it's just because um, it's a beta and it doesn't always work so just keep trying it might be full it might not the server may be down so this usually does happen to me when I try to get into servers but I just keep trying that one's full let's find one that's not okay okay New Zealand well, that's too far SOMAS and eventually you might get it to work or not okay that looks like it's gonna work so three tries and there you go in the game press the color and you're golden now I'm in the game just like that to get out of the game just hit escape exit and the game quits so that's pretty much it now I like I said I was in touch with the developer he's coming out with the new version this week it's going to have some more server admin controls hopefully private games um, server fix and uh, a couple other things so anyway hope you enjoy the game it's uh, like I said it's not nearly finished if you can get past the little blemishes um, it's very enjoyable and I hope to see you guys out there look for me my name on the servers will be plink p-l-i-n-k so I'll see you around thanks for watching bye bye